Baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 Every time I hear that song, it like fully gets stuck in my head straight away. Is it just me? Looking for me to let's go. Take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no Today's video is going to be an ISO try on haul 2.0. You know, COVID's still going on and honestly I foresee it happening for the rest of this year and possibly next year, but we'll see how it all turns out. So last time you would have seen that I actually got a lot of clothes now that I think about it, but since then I have decided to not shop as much. I mean, I still shop, but I don't know, like I've decided that no more clothes, like where are you gonna wear it out to anyway? But here I am with a few more clothes, but there's not that many outfits today. Um, but yeah, so if you guys wanna see what I bought during the period between the last video and now, so a couple months, um, please keep watching. Okay, so let's talk about the first item that I got. Okay, so this looks pretty basic, right? But I mean, most people already have like a black puffer jacket. I'm like slow to join the bandwagon because I don't know, it just wasn't like my style. And like, I wanted to find something that didn't look like a hiking jacket and looked more like a jacket, you know? And I found that this jacket kind of looks like what I'm after. Like it's cute. It's, I don't know, it's got a bit of style. It's got a bit of like, um, puffiness and yeah so it's from Uniqlo it's their ultra light down jacket and it's like super soft like look at that and then it comes it came with like a bag and you can like literally like fold it and put it all in that bag so it's great for traveling not that we're traveling anytime soon but you know good to know um, and yeah it's just like really soft like look it just like flattens um, yeah, it's super duper light and super soft. Um, so yeah, let me just put it on for ya. Okay, so... This is what it looks like. So, I got a size extra small. I thought, you know, this looks perfect. But then, okay, but then, I go like this. And look at my hands. That's why I feel like maybe a size small would have been better. But it looks fine. It looks good when it's like this, you know? Like the sleeves are perfectly fine when it's down. But at the moment I go like this. So it's kind of annoying. I don't like it. The reason I think is because they have like this elastic here. So it like sticks on there and it can drag up. It also says that it is durable and water repellent there's also like a pocket inside and then on this side there's two pockets which is great like i can put stuff in here i can put stuff in here so anyway i really like it like you can zip it up and then also button it up there's buttons as well um i just think it looks really nice like i just like the way it looks so yeah, this is the first outfit. The next outfit is another puffer. I just found that it's been really cold. Obviously, it's winter. And, uh, you know, whenever I go out for like five minutes, whatever, it's cold. So I was like, you know what? I want a puffer jacket. Um, because really, we can't go anywhere else, right? Like, there's no reason for us to look nice anymore. So, yeah, I got another puffer jacket. You guys might have seen it um, in my most recent vlog. I will introduce it to you guys. This is the puffer jacket. It's really long. I got it from Huffa. I got it in the size 6. The reason being is because this was made oversized. In the photo of the girl, like the model, it looked really big on her. So I was like, oh, I don't want it to be like that oversized. You know, it, I just didn't think it looked that good. Um, so I was like, okay, maybe I get a 6 and it'll just like look fine. 
but I feel like I probably could have gotten away with an eight, like an eight would have been fine. So I don't know, but six is still fine as well. So I got a six and oh my God, I love it. Okay, firstly, I just want to say that if you want to buy something from Huffa, get it when it's 50% off. They quite often have 50% off sales, so don't get it like full price because it's way too expensive. Uh, I mean, this was already kind of expensive, but I think it's worth it because it's waterproof, which is great, which means like, especially being white, like I don't have to worry about like stains and like all that jazz, like you can just wipe it off. Um, definitely still like be careful, but I think it's okay. Um, especially the material, if you look at it, seems like it'd be like a hard material, right? Like it doesn't seem like it's soft. Dude, look how soft it is. Like it is like a big marshmallow. It's so soft. I really, it feels soft and it also is soft when you squeeze it. Um, so that's what I really love about it. Like I'm glad that it's soft. Um, and it's really smooth and it just feels nice. So yeah, um, I think it's cute and I will try it on for you guys. Okay, I'm kind of worried. I don't want to get my makeup on it, but this is what it looks like. Super cute. Even when I raise my arms, see, look, it's fine. Um, and also like, the inside is like this, so it has this material, which is comfortable. It's really comfortable inside, and I just think it looks really cute. Like, I like it. Yeah, I think it's cute. If you want to see what the hood looks like on. <laughs> yeah, so that's the hood on. There's a zip in here, which is great for, I guess, valuables or things you don't want to lose. The pockets are nice pockets as well. Like there's clip on buttons, so it covers up the zip. It looks nice. Overall, it just feels like a high quality item. I think it's a good purchase. Uh, like this is warm, obviously same with the Uniqlo, but this is definitely warmer than the Uniqlo. I just feel like snug in it, you know, like, but I'll try zipping it up for you to see. It looks like this. It doesn't look that good zipped up. Like, I don't think it looks that good. It looks cuter when it's like, like this. And when I do wear like a jumper instead of like a t-shirt, um, it does feel a bit snug, but not too, not so snug where I'm like, oh. that's why I feel like maybe get true to size if you want to get this. Um, but yeah, this is the jacket. We could be dancing in the stars. We could be floating all the way. As long as I'm safely in your arms. This is the Jordan 1 Mid GS or something. I don't know. Links down the bottom. I got the kids one, so like grade school. I got size US 5Y. I'm normally like 36. But I feel like 36 in sneakers are like really snug. This is one size up, but it's actually 37.5. So it's one and a half sizes up. So I was a bit worried. It is a tad big, but it's okay. Like it's not bad. I would prefer a bit bigger than to have it like uncomfortable. I obviously have not worn it out because it's COVID and also it's white. <laughs> and I don't want to get it dirty, but I will definitely wear it out once, you know, COVID's over. But I've always wanted some, you know, all white shoes. And it was cheap as well because I got the kids size. So yeah, packs of small feet. I'll try it on for you guys and show you what it looks like. So the next item is another pair of sneakers. So stands are like not really in fashion anymore, but they like never went out of fashion, I feel like. They're just like some cool white sneakers. So I got these red ones. It was on sale, so I just got it. Um, but I'm actually kind of disappointed because this tongue is not cushioned. The stands that I have, the green ones, they are cushioned. So it's more comfortable because this part, like when it hits your foot, it um, is not that comfortable. But it's definitely something I was really disappointed about, but I really could not be bothered returning it. So I was like, fine, I'll just keep it. Like, stands are comfortable. Like, it's a really comfortable shoe. 
um, it's just ugh, this annoys me that this is you know and it didn't say like I should have checked the photo I guess but I just I just assumed all stands were the same and it didn't specify the, that there was a difference <sighs> so something you should watch out for if you're gonna buy some stands think about the tongue because I don't want this tongue but whatever it is what it is so I obviously also learned my lesson from my green stands. They were a bit too small. Like, like I said, it's exactly size 36. So I got a size um, US 5. Again, it is a bit big, but it's better. It's more comfortable. Anyway, so yeah, these are the shoes that I got. And I just like like the, you know, red. It's, that's cute. Like red's a nice color. But yeah, so I'll also show you guys what this looks like on. The next items that I got are some hair clips. I've kind of been like seeing people wearing hair clips and stuff. And then I saw my boyfriend's mum wearing a hair clip. And I was like, oh my god, that hair clip is so cute. And she was like, oh yeah, thanks. And I was like, where did you get it from? And she was like, Daiso. And I was like, I, I'm going to go to Daiso. <laughs> so I went to Daiso, um, obviously before lockdown. Um, let me show you what I got. So this is what I got, these cloud clips. They're really cute. They also had purple, I think, but I thought the green and the pink looked better. They are kind of small, so they don't hold up like your whole hair, but it's great for like half updos. And I have been using these all the time because when my hair is oily, then I just clip it up halfway. Then it just doesn't feel like, you know, my hair still feels tied up. I love them both and uh, let me show you guys what it looks like when I have it in my hair. Okay, so one last hair clip. I got this one. So I wanted something bigger that I can actually clip my whole hair up. So I got this from Etsy. I mean, I was looking everywhere to see like what nice hair clips there are and they're like not that nice. I was just trying to find one similar to the marbling that I got. I just got kind of like a basic color. It's kind of like a pearly white. It's, it's, not, com it's not completely white. It's almost like, I can't explain, you know? It's a bit, it's got a bit of like a, a purple, like taro, you know, taro, like taro tinge which is you know like purpley gray it's like that so this is what i got um it was a bit expensive because that's paper shipping but i was like you know what it's gonna make me happy and it's what i want so i might as well get something that i like and whatever you get what you want you know so i was like i'm gonna get it so i got this i'll tag it down the bottom i will also show you how i wear this Alrighty guys, so now we have reached the end of the video. That's all the products that I got that I can try on. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video and like my content. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Night night makes me this way.